Now inner join, we have already seen the inner join. It's very simple when you try to join two tables, whatever columns that fall under the join category, they will come as your output. All right. So the two tables that we created just now, if you see in the same article, we created one table. This first table is books table where we have book ID, title and category as three columns. OK, and then we created a members table where we have member ID, member name and book ID. So this book ID is a foreign key onto this book ID column in the books table. All right. So this is the sample data that we have already inserted above using the insert statements. And let us go through the sample data. If you see, we have book ID, the title and the category in the category column. If you see the last book title, we don't have any category. So I wantedly put it as null for our practice purpose. In the members table, if you see, we have how many? One, two, three, four, five members and they have borrowed these books from the library. That's the table structure. Now, when we try to join these two tables on the book ID column, so what happens is wherever the book ID is matching. So if you see the book ID three is matching in this table, in the members table, and it is matching in the books table because we have a record with ID three. So this will be a positive match. That means we will get an output. The same goes with record number five because we have five in both the key columns. We have six in both the key columns, seven and then nine. So the records that will not come in the output would be one because there is no member who has borrowed a book with the ID one. If you see this one, the join condition must match the key columns from the both the tables. They must match the join condition. So in an inner join, when you're joining these two tables on a key column, both the key columns should have same value. So one will not be outputted because one is not there in the members table. All right. The two will not come in the output because two is not there in the members table. The same goes with four. The same goes with eight, right? So these, I mean, this is one example for inner join. What I'll do is I would take another example just to simplify the way things look. So guys, these are two key columns in different tables. Okay, we are just having key columns. And what we'll do is for the sake of simplicity, I'll try to delete some data from both the columns and then try to join these two columns and then see what exactly is the output. We are just trying to do it on plain paper, but later on we'll be seeing an example inside the database. So in the table two, we are assuming 1001 is not there. In table one, I'm assuming 1003 is not there and 1005 will remove from the table two. And let us try to remove this. OK, so we have this data with us, two tables where we have matching columns. There are two key columns and there are some values which are matching and there are some values which are not matching. So what happens when you try to do an inner join? All right. So where is our article? When you do an inner join on the key column, all the values that are matching, they will come in the output. Now let us look at this table. When we try to join these two tables, this first value or the first record, will we get it in the output or not? Now, how about the 1002? Perfect. 1003? Perfect. 1004 will be there in the output. 1006 will be there in the output and 1008 will be in the output because when we are joining these two tables on these key columns, the key values must be available in both the tables and only those records will be in the output that's inner join the key value must be present in both the tables columns that you are trying to join and if the value is available you will have an output if value is not available in either of the tables okay 
I'm not just talking about table two. I'm saying if the value is not present in table one, also that record will not be in the output. That's inner join. Natural join. If the key column name is same in both the tables, then you can use natural join. And Oracle already knows on which column to join the tables. So we'll get back to this one later.